Namaste everyone. Welcome back to the Rona Institute of Ayurvedic Studies. In the first video of 2022 AAPGT question paper analysis, we had dealt in detail with questions 1 to 20. And in this video, we will go through questions 21 to 40. If you have any doubts regarding the first section, please do leave a comment in the comment box. And now, 21st question. Which of the following is mentioned as Garadoshahara by Sisruta? And the options are Padhola, Kale Shara, Manduka Panni and Vasha. First, we have to identify where this question is from. This is from the area Susurdham Sutrastanam, 46th chapter, Annabhana Vidyadhyaya, where Acharya has mentioned the most commonly used Annabhana, Vargas, and their common properties. So, we can apply them for our clinical practices as well as for Pathya in daily life. Here, for Kale Shara, Acharya has mentioned Vipanam Kale Shagam to Garadoshaharam. So, our answer is option 2. Question number 22. According to Susruta, Amla Dadimais. This again is another question from the same chapter, 46th chapter. So, please do give due importance to the same. And the options are Vada Shamaga, Kapa Shamaga, Vada Kapa Shamaga and Tridosha Shamaga. Here, Acharya has mentioned two types of Dadima that is Madhura and Amla. And the property of Madhura Dadima is Tridosha Shamaga and that of Amla Dadima is Vada Kapa Shamaga. Now, question number 23. Now, we are moving on to the area of forensic medicine and toxicology. This question is from toxicology. Please do go through the important areas like Mahavisha, Upavisha, areas of toxicology. Here, on list 1, we have the name of some commonly uh, used dravyas of, of toxicology. And on list 2, we have their chemical constituents. See, here on list 1, there is Balladaga, Gunja, Kujala and Langali. And the first two, Balladaga and Gunja, if we know the chemical, if we know the botanical name of these drugs, we can identify the chemical constituent. For example, Balladaga is what? Semicarpus anacardus. So, on list two, we have semicarpol. We can match them. Then, when it comes to Gunja, the name of Gunja is what? Abdris precatorius. And on list two, we have Abdri. So, they are also matched. Then comes Kujala. Kuchala or Kupilu. Kuchala or Kupilu is strictness Nakswamika. We cannot make a direct connection from the name. But if we had learned, it is wise to learn the most important drugs. I know there are lots of uh, in Dravyas to study detail and non-detail. But it is better to learn the at least the chemical constituents of the detailed drugs. So here Kuchala is Brucine and then Langili. Langili we get Gloriosa superba and the chemical constituent is colchicine. And next question is from toxicology, uh, forensic medicine. IPC dash defines grievous in injury. Similarly, it is advised to please study the most commonly case, the most common cases that we get in, as in our practice. You know, I where the doctors do get a lot of uh, medical legal cases. So it is most important like dowry, death, rape, uh, there are some important ones which you need to study. Grievous injury is also one of them. Here the IPC section 320 is our answer. Next statement. Next statement is again from forensic medicine. The lividity on dead body is fully developed and fixed in about 36 to 48 hours. There are four statements given. And the second statement is the lividity is developed due to gravitational force of stasis blood. Option C, the lividity does not depend on the position of body after death. And option D, the lividity on the body starts over the dependent part in 1 to 3 hours. When we look at this area, please keep in mind that every year there is one question at least from the uh, post-mortem changes, that is after, the changes after death. There is usually one question from this area, so please do go through the, all this carefully, like liver mortis, rigor mortis. Uh, Alga mortis, everything is important. Here, the lividity on dead body is fully developed and fixed in about 36 to 48 hours. This is not true. Then, the lividity is developed due to gravitational forces of stasis blood. 
C the B and C. The C option is the liberty does not depend on position of body after death. The B and C options are contradictory. If it depends on gravitational force, then of course it depends on the position, right? So we can, even if we don't know the answer, we can understand that both B and C cannot be right together. Only one of them is right. Then the lividity on the body starts over the dependent part in 1 to 3 hours. Here we get a clue. See in the statement there is starts over the dependent part. Dependent part again points to the importance of position of the body or the gravitational force. So from these clues if you have not studied also we can understand that B and D are the true statements. Now 26th question. According to Charaga how many types of Takra are mentioned? Charaka Acharya has mentioned in detail about Takra in multiple contexts. So please go through all of them. Here our answer is 3. 27th question. Which of the material is used for making Sakta Khalva? Here our answer is Loha. Especially uh, more specifically it is Kanda Loha. Now we have moved on to the Rasa Shastra part of the question paper. Who is the author of Ayurveda Prakash? Let me tell you that again, there is the uh, importance of books and authors from Rasa Shastra. Usually we get around one question from this area. So please do go through those questions. Who is the author of Ayurveda Prakasham? The options are Ananda Devasuri, Vishnu Pandit, Madhava Upadhyaya and Narahari Bhatta. Our answer is Madhava Upadhyaya. 29th question is from uh, pharmaceutical area according to GMP specifications the area recommended for manufacturing churna now let us see the options 100 square feet 200 square feet 150 square feet and 250 square feet see these are all uh, 100 150 200 250 everything is close together so it is very tough to take a wild guess I can tell you another connection if you are not learned it before see 200 square feet when it comes to churna what is the uh, shelf life of churna according to Baishijya Kalpana? It is two months, right? So, uh, mostly we connect these two with churna. Like what we have, uh, Trivit churna, or if you eat Avipati churna, we say that we go for village, and or in colloquial terms, we say it's like what number two, right? Just kidding. If you cannot, uh, if you're not able to recollect the area you had studied, you can make small connections like, like this. So here also there is a connection to 2 and Churna. 200 square feet is our answer. Now the 30th question. According to Rasatarangini, which of the following process is used for the preparation of Nagabhasma? The answer is Jharana. 31st question. Charaka has advised Amalaga in the management of Pradara. The form he advised is. This question was actually challenged and there are two answers to it. There are two correct answers which is Dhatri Bija Kalkam with Siddha and Madhu and Dhatri Churna with Madhu. This is something we used in clinically also so I am sure most of you might know this. In the 32nd question, it is also from Vaishijya Kalpana. In Mana Paribhasha, according to Sharangadara Samhita, which among the following is not a synonym of Drona? See uh, here... You can see this uh, options Ghada, ka, Rashi, Kalash, Kumb. Our answer is Kumb. Okay. And the next one. Uh, because you see Kumb is to Drona. Rashi, Kalash, etc. are the synonyms of Drona. And Kumb is equal to to Drona. 33rd question. According to Rasa Vagvada, which Mosha is used for Kotalyadi Vipachane? Options are Vajra Dravana Mosha. Vajra Mosha, Malla Mosha and Pakva Mosha. Our answer is Pakva Mosha. 34th question. According to Sharangadara Samhita, choose the correct answer with the following drugs in case of Sharangapaniya. Sharangapaniya uh, reference is given in the treatment of Jwara. It is a very important reference. It is a very small yoga so we can all study it completely. What is Khana Chandana Shunti Ambu Parpada Ushira Sadhita? What is, uh, let us look at the option. Option 2 has Kana is Musta, Chandana, Parpada, Ushira, Shundi and we have Udichya or Ambu. Okay, now 35th question. According to Sharangadara Samhita, what is the quantity of Guglu that should be added to the Kwada as a Prakshepa Dhrivya? 
the answer is one shana match list one list one with list two in reference of anumana pramana that is the 36th question this is a very important area uh, so let us go through that in list one we have dhridi medha dvesha and krodha let us try to match them dhridi can be assessed by alaulya and medha can be by grahanam your grahana shakti your intellect is about how you are able to grasp things how quickly or how uh, how long you know how quickly you are able to grasp information then there is dvesha which is assessed by pradishedha and krodha can be assessed by abhidroha now question number 37 as per charaka samhita which of the following are considered as sharira vriddhikara bhava this is also another very important area let us look at the options kala yoga swabhava samsiddhi aahara saushtavam and avikadam that is our answer 38th question according to charaka samhita adita kala is a type of this question is also from charagam vimanam chapter 8 in vadha margam the answer is vadha marga pada 39th question according to madhava nidana jvaro vivarnadha shulam hridgraham sadanam brahma bhakta dvesha adisara cha are the clinical features of which disease uh, the options are jvaram pandu adisaram krimi it might be a little bit confusing so let us take a quick look uh, jvaro vivarnadha shulam hridgraham sadanam brahma bhakta dvesham adisaram uh, when you look at the options you may confuse it with uh, krimi or maybe adisara because there is adisara in the options but acharya madhava has clearly mentioned this for pandu roga and 40th question according to madhava nidana mridur daho mridur shido is the clinical feature of which jwara the options are sanipada jwara shleshma pitta jwara vada balasaka jwara and vishama jwara and the options are and the answer is shleshma pitta jwara so when you look at the options there might be a small confusion right because there is a difference of opinion among acharyas according to madhava nidana mridur daho mridur shido is shleshma pitta jwara the daha factor owes to the pitta and the shida factor is due to the shleshma but if the question was according to ashtanga hridaya muhur daham muhur shida can you guess the answer it will be sanne bhaga and according to charaga shane daha shane shida that is also sanne bhaga jwara so please keep in mind all the three points so thank you so much for listening to the, another video of throna institute of ayurvedic studies hope to see you again soon please do like and subscribe the videos if you like thank you so we have come to the last question of this video according to madhava nidana mridur daho mridur shido is the clinical feature of which jwara the options are sannipada jwara shleshma pitta jwara vada balasaka jwara and vishama jwara and the answer is shleshma pitta jwara but what if the question was according to ashtanga hridaya which fever has the fever muhur daha muhur shida or if the question was according to acharya charaka shane daha shane shida in both cases the answer would be sanne pada jwara so please do keep in mind all the three points when you study now thank you so much for patiently listening and please do like and subscribe to drona institute of ayurvedic studies to make your pg entrance dreams true and we'll see you again with another video soon